can't wait to eat this. Nom, 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 nom. Hi guys, Brianne Johnson here, and today we're making a vegan veggie loaf that's meant to be as your meat replacer for your Thanksgiving or Christmas or holiday dinners. And this is a super healthy alternative. It's homemade, which is always nice, but it also has tons of vegetables and it has some grains and even lentils in it and some other healthy ingredients for you. So, and it's really delicious too, so you're gonna love it. So here's what you'll need to get started. One third cup flour, one medium sized carrot grated, one and a half cups of thinly sliced mushrooms, one cup of overcooked green lentils, and a cup of brown rice, one and a half cups of shredded kale, half an onion finely chopped, one rib of celery thinly sliced, and three cloves of minced garlic, one tablespoon olive oil, half a teaspoon of salt, a quarter of a teaspoon of thyme, and a quarter of a teaspoon of oregano, three tablespoons of ground flaxseed, and two tablespoons of nutritional yeast, half a cup of ground pecans, and a quarter of a cup of dried cranberries. Preheat oven to 400 degrees. Next, we're gonna add the olive oil to a pan and heat it for about one minute. Then we're gonna add the bowl of vegetables that has kale, celery, onions, and garlic. Okay, this has been heating for about one minute. Now we're gonna add the vegetables. A sizzle. Okay, these vegetables have been cooking like this for about two minutes. Now it's time to add the mushrooms. Oh, this smells really good and it's really pretty. Oh my goodness, the garlic and the onion. Just like fuses up my nose, it's amazing. Mm. Look at how pretty that sizzle is. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. Now we're gonna add the salt, oregano, and thyme. Next we're gonna add all of the ingredients to a large mixing bowl. So that's gonna be our sauteed vegetable mixture, our lentils and rice, nutritional yeast, flaxseed, ground pecans, carrots and flour. Next we're gonna get a bread loaf pan and line it with parchment paper and we're gonna firmly press the mixture into the pan. Oh, I forgot to add the dried cranberries. Whoops. Add the dried cranberries. We're gonna add it into the bread pan. Now we're gonna put the loaf in the oven for 25 minutes. Yay! Ooh, that looks pretty. Okay, so we have the final product here. I had to mush it up so it could cool off so I could eat it faster. And I'm really excited about it. Mmm. It's very vegetable-y. It's still very moist, which I like about it a lot. You can add a little more salt if you want to. But I really like the cranberry bursts of a little bit of sweetness. Mmm. By the way, this is really, really good. With some cranberry sauce over it or just some basic gravy over it. Love that. Mm. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. Mmm. Mmm.